I'm actually doing a pretty big breakfast for me because I'm not a morning eater. But I have two eggs with shredded cheese, three pieces of bacon, I like mine super crispy, and a piece of sausage. This is just the sausage I pick up at Walmart in the freezer section. It's already fully cooked, so you can microwave it. I microwave it to thaw it, then throw it in a pan and crisp it up. And you already saw what I was drinking. I've started my morning off with water and I'm gonna continue. Can you all see him vibrating? Oh, it's gonna be a high anxiety day. He's already had his treat for anxiety. I think I'm gonna have to give him some additional medicine today. Come on, buddy. Um, Mira's at this window. She keeps peeking her little head, and so he has no idea where to focus. Should he focus on this window, or should he focus on the one behind me? Where's she gonna go? I want him to be happy. Uh, went ahead and put Quincy down. I did give him his anxiety pill. I don't want to get him too worked up today. He's got a lot going on. He's got a big day. Today is bath day and he's not a fan of that. So I want to give uh, that anxiety pill time to take effect before we dive in and do a bath. There is a lot that I want to cover in the chats today. Yeah, I said chats. We're gonna be having two, the morning chat, and we'll be having a sip and chat later on in the evening. That way I can add to my list if I need to. And for the sip and chat, it's a review. How did I forget about the Dr. Pepper that I picked up probably over a month ago at this point? The strawberries and cream flavor, I've still not tried it. Okay, so I want to talk about a few things. First, my morning routine. Have you noticed? She's changed. I pulled out the water bottle. We're doing this again. I am not starting my morning with caffeine or an energy drink immediately. I'm going back to basics pretty much. If you remember forever ago, I would get up, drink a certain amount of water, and then if I wanted some caffeine or an energy drink, I would have it. I hate to admit it, because you know I love my energy drinks and my caffeine. I feel better starting the day off with water, as in I physically have noticed a change. Now, it may have nothing to do with the fact that I am having water first thing in the morning because in the past week, I've changed up a lot of stuff. I went back on my low dose testosterone shots. I went off those to see if the swelling would go away because that can be a side effect. It didn't and I would noticed when I came off of the testosterone I was having more flare-ups from whatever autoimmune issue I've got going on. I have also in the past week cut out fasting. This has been the hardest because I'm not a morning eater. The majority of the time I fast up until about five o'clock but I feel like I needed to give three square meals and snacks a chance because the situation has changed for me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not doing keto and low carb strictly for weight loss anymore. I mean, I'm in maintenance. I lost the weight. I got to where I needed to, but then, you know, <laughs> We threw that wrench into my lifelong plans, but I have also discussed the fact that I have been having a lot of brain fog. I'm thinking the brain fog could be coming from carb restriction or the fact that I have been having a lot of blood sugar highs and blood sugar lows. What I'm striving for is a more <laughs> straight line. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. That's what's on the agenda for me for the next little bit and upping my carb counts. This is something that was suggested to me all the way back in the beginning. 
of this diabetic journey, but I was really resistant. So I've been doing all of those things. Here's what I've noticed in the past week. And I can't believe I'm even saying this because I don't want to jinx it, but I've not had brain fog in going on five days. Today will be day five. For anyone who has ever suffered from brain fog, you know. For those that haven't, you can't even imagine. I feel when I'm going through an episode like I'm going insane. I cannot process a thought. I forget why I have walked into a room trying to adapt to that and figure out my life going forward with this hazy brain was actually the hardest part of the entire diagnosis. Not the fatigue, not the fact that I no longer have a functioning pancreas, not that I have to do math, chemistry, biology before I can eat a meal. Those are not my strong suits. I failed all of those in school. Not even the chronic pain. I can deal with that. I can cope. But the brain fog and the fact that I could not think, that's been the hardest part. Five days. Five days. Brain fog free. It's been amazing. Unfortunately, I threw in like six things that I tweaked and adjusted all at once. So I don't know which one of those is what has improved my brain fog. And truthfully, it may not be any of those. It could just be the fact that I'm not having an autoimmune flare up right now. But I really think that it's one of those other things that I've done or maybe a combination of several because I don't remember in this past 16 months having four to five days in a row where brain fog wasn't present. So this is a huge deal. This is, this is like, yes, yes. That's my good news. For the next little bit, I'm going to continue trying a low carb lifestyle, which means increasing my carbs. I'm going to have to dose for those with insulin and hopefully the brain fog stays at bay. Crossing my fingers on this one. Now, if there are any type one diabetics out there that are watching and you have any suggestions for me, let me know. I am new to this. I, I'm not a healthcare professional. Don't take my advice. Don't listen to me. I'm just sharing my journey with you. But if you have had something that helped you, let me know. Still drinking on my water. Remember, this as well as all of my favorites that have helped me on my weight loss journey are always linked down in the description box along with a plethora of discount codes. So if you're ordering your keto items online, odds are you're gonna find that discount down there. And thank you, one of you brought it to my attention that there have been a lot of air fryer recalls lately. So I went back, checked my email, and unfortunately I had got a notification from Amazon that my Kasori has been recalled. Apparently they're doing a whole replacement thing. So if you have an air fryer, go check those recalls. You don't want a fire to get started. I'll see you at the next meal. Hang out for that chat so we can do the review. Be prepared to see more carbs in the future. <laughs> snack time and i'm doing some whole cashews with sea salt these come from sam's club i prefer to pick up the whole cashews because i feel like it's easier to count out your serving size than if you get the little small pieces i've also noticed that if i eat out of the container i will overdo it so i have to put them in a little bowl and then put the container up and walk away 16 cashews is a serving 13 fat nine total carbs oh and i just now noticed 10 percent iron in one serving that's great okay so i'm gonna go enjoy my snack 
And for those of you that may have missed it, I actually put out a video on my second channel. So if you're looking for additional content, then go watch. I'll link it for you in the cards. Leftovers for lunch. I made a roast in the crock pot over the weekend. When I reheat this, I do put a big old tablespoon of butter in it to give it some additional fat. I did add a few baby carrots. There's also a few pepperoncinis in here, some onions, and I cut up some radishes to replace those potatoes. Plus, I'm also having a low carb biscuit. Recipe comes from the Keto Chow website. And to drink, I'm finishing up my water. I'm going to take my glasses off so there's no glare. Unfortunately, we do not get to go outside and sit. It's 65 degrees. The sun is shining. But it is so windy out that you wouldn't even be able to hear me. So this is going to be a sip and chat with a review. This right here. The Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar Strawberries and Cream. And I know admitting this will probably ruffle some feathers. I'm not a Dr. Pepper fan. I don't like Mountain Dew anymore either. And if you're from the South, you'll understand this. If not, you may have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't like Dr. Enough. It, I believe, is from the South. It was created in the South and it seems like everybody down here just raves about it. I hate it. <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Enough, but it just has this medicine taste to me. Nutritional information. Every single thing on the back is zero. The only thing that has a number is the sodium and it is 60 milligrams. This is going to be sweetened with aspartame. It also has the acylfame potassium in it, which in other countries is labeled a sweetener. Over here, it's not. They even put on the ingredient list that they've added in caffeine. Plus they give the caffeine amount which is different. Mm, I don't think most companies do that. This one, it contains 41 milligrams of caffeine. That's not a lot compared to what I'm used to consuming in the Alani News. I think they have like 200 milligrams per can. The suspense is killing me, so let's go ahead and check it out. Now, you know I'm gonna give it the smell test. I smell everything before I eat or drink it. And it smells good. Definitely has the artificial strawberry smell. Now for the taste. Okay. Hmm. I feel like I do this all the time. First impression, first drink. I, I'm not in love. But then again, I don't like Dr. Pepper. But with that being said, this tastes nothing like Dr. Pepper. What is it? Dr. Pepper has like 40 some, 42 flavors in it. Let's give it another shot. It, it may grow on me. I don't know. This I feel is something that I wouldn't mind having occasionally, maybe one a month. Mm. Mind blown, mind blown. Do you know what would be good? Adding a little bit of heavy whipping cream to it, or if you do the keto ice cream, a scoop or two of the vanilla and making a float out of it. Yeah, I can see doing that with this. Quick little rant slash update went to pick up my prescriptions and no walgreens said no no honey you're not getting your traceba or your adderall because they are out of stock i don't i don't know <laughs> i don't know why i know it's not walgreens or the pharmacy's fault but what is going on why are we having all of these shortages what is going on? Want to address a couple of other things since we are talking about 
diabetes and insulin and all that jazz. I saw a comment in my last What I Eat In A Day video that said, in all of your comments, I know they're coming from a good place. You can tell the comments that are, you know, not. But I know this was coming from a good place, so I'm not trying to be negative. I just want to explain some things. But the comment said, don't eat Missions tortillas because they're not diabetic friendly and then referred me to go watch a specific video. Here's the problem with that. I'm not a type 2 diabetic. I'm a type 1 diabetic. There is no foods that are type 1 diabetic friendly because my pancreas isn't producing the insulin to stop a blood sugar spike. All foods, pretty much, except for I think like two that I found, are going to require me to take insulin unless I'm super low and I want to bring it up. So maybe there was this misconception or this misunderstanding that I was a type 2 diabetic, but I'm type 1. Truthfully, it does not matter which tortilla shell I consume. I can't go by net carbs anymore. I have to go by the actual total amount of carbs on stuff to figure out how much insulin I need. So net carbs means nothing to me anymore. Honestly, if it came right down to it, it may be the same amount of carbs in just a regular Missions tortilla. You see what I'm saying? So it wouldn't matter which one I consumed. It's going to require the same effort, the same math, the same everything. You know what? Now, now that it's in my noggin, I'm going to Google it and just see because I feel like I need to know. 20 minutes later, after doing a deep dive and checking out every single tortilla shell on the market, Mission's Carb Balance Tortillas, those are 43 grams and they are 19 total carbs. The regular flour tortillas by Mission are 49 grams. So they're a little bit bigger or thicker or heavier and they are 24 total carbs five carb difference. It would probably just require the same dosage because it's not that big of a difference. If you have been with me though for quite some time, you know that before I was a type 1 diabetic, I used to do blood glucose and ketones tests on products and the carb balanced tortillas were one of those. They did not affect me. I don't know how they would affect a type 2 diabetic, but as just your normal everyday person that was doing keto pre-diagnosis, they were fine for me. But here's the great news. During my little deep dive, I came across this. Did you know about this? I mean, it doesn't really do me any good, but it definitely would anyone that is in weight loss mode that is counting net carbs. Mission makes a zero net carb tortilla. It does have seven total carbs, seven dietary fiber, meaning zero net carbs. Not something I would suggest eating breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, but occasionally it should not affect weight loss if you don't have an issue with these types of foods. Even though I still have several things on my list. I want to just carry those over probably until the next video because I have a feeling this one's already going to be like 20, 30 minutes long. I'm going to go <laughs> refill my water bottle and I will see you really soon. Into the snack drawer. Don't judge me people. I like my snacks and I like to keep a well-stocked keto low-carb drawer.
I think that I will go with Chalk Zero cookies and cream. I love the fact that they're individually wrapped. Each bar is 14 total carbs, 11 dietary fiber, meaning three net carbs. I just got the email today that the raspberry chocolate bark is back in stock. They have it in milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and white. If you've not tried that one, you need to. It is so good. Remember, that discount code is always in the description box if you're going to order any of their products. Go to the top of their page right there where it says deals and click on that. And you're going to be able to get the sale plus use my discount. And that is going to take a huge chunk off. Time for the question of the day. You may have noticed that I'm at a different angle I'm facing my workstation and that's because the question of the day pertains to this. What is the one thing you have way too many of, but you keep buying more? Truthfully, I have several answers to this question, but right here, you see this post-it notes. I have post-it notes everywhere an entire drawer full. If it's something that I can jot down what's in my head so that I don't forget it, then you can guarantee I have too many of them. There's Walmart lists over here. There is inspirational quotes. All of the blue that you see are little notes that Briley wrote me to try to cheer me up. So I've got those stuck there, but there's like post-it notes everywhere. So what's your one thing? Now you may be like me and have multiple, but I just want one. What's the one thing that you just can't stop buying? I think I'm gonna make this a regular segment, maybe in all of my videos, question of the day, sort of get to know one another. So if you have a suggestion, put it in the comments. What do you guys wanna know next? dinner time and this is why we talked about the missions carb balance tortillas because I'm gonna be having one of those for dinner and this suggestion came from Susan in the previous video genius idea thanks Susan I ask you all what your favorite pizza toppings were. Susan said that she liked barbecue chicken pizza so that's what we're making today Melt some butter in a pan. Crisp up this tortilla shell on both sides. I did add some pink salt to that just for flavor. Now that it's crispy on both sides, it's time to add the toppings. You're gonna pick your favorite zero sugar barbecue sauce. Then add that to the top of your tortilla. On top of the barbecue sauce, I'll throw some shredded chicken and some onions. Add mozzarella, turn down the heat, and cover so that it gives the cheese a chance to melt. My favorite kind of recipe too. Minimal ingredients and it only takes minutes to make. These tortilla shells crisp up so nicely that you can actually even cut them with a pizza cutter so that you'll have little individual triangle slices of pizza to pick up and eat. To drink, I'm finishing up my water for the night. Today went really well until this evening. Now I feel like I've just hit a wall and fatigue has set in. I am tired. Although it's still really early, I'm calling it a night. I'm gonna go brush my hair, brush my teeth, wash my face, change clothes, and go to bed. Don't forget, everything mentioned in today's video plus discount codes are in the description box so that you can save some money. I'll see you guys really soon. I have a goal, at least two videos a week. So I'll see you in just a couple days. Hope you have a great week. Bye.